Building on um, some of the accessibility options and some of the settings inside your iPad, we're going to have a look at Wi-Fi. So it's important to realize as a parent and teachers that um, iPads cannot actually connect to any other physical medium. They have to be connected via Wi-Fi. The only other time you would plug one of them in is if you're syncing it to your iTunes or you're doing some file transfers through iTunes or something like that. Um, as you can see here, you've got all these different options and of course the latest um, wireless is supported. So in other words, 802.11n. So if you're gonna go out, parents or teachers, and buy new hardware for your homes, like a new router from JB Hi-Fi or something like that, make sure it supports 802.11n. Um, and certainly the fourth generation or the newest iPads have double the speed of communication via Wi-Fi. It's really important also to um, remember that there's a lot of connections usually that are available if you're in public spaces. And this sort of Wi-Fi option can sometimes get a little bit clogged with that. Um, you'll also notice underneath there's a thing called ask to join networks. So I've got that turned off. So what that actually means is if I was to walk um, through the shops and say uh, McDonald's had a Wi-Fi open, the iPad would prompt me to say, do you want to join this network? It's really, really important also um, to remember that the little padlock, when you see JDC iPad and you've got a padlock and then you've got the sign over here. If you talk about those particular um, functions at the moment, an iPad will always try and use the free and unlocked network as a first port of call, generally. So, see this guest iPad network here? If this was the actual network that it knew about, so in other words, it had been clicked on before, it would always try and generally jump to one that's not protected because it would be the most obvious choice to start with. But if you've got um, to be on certain networks or... Um, you've got certain access points that you need to be able to use, then you need to make sure before you start that it's connected to the right network. Um, mums and dads at home, you'll probably notice that when you've got your iPad or any other device, that everybody around you has a device also, because wireless networks can stretch up to 100 meters um, beyond the actual point of access. So generally make sure you're on the right network, generally make sure that um, it's Wi-Fi, the latest one, which would be 802.11n, um, and just remember that um, one of the things we did see, interestingly enough, if you've got a lot of devices at home, so you're talking like 8 to 12 to 15 that use Wi-Fi connection, and you've got an older type of um, router or modem um, that uses it, remember that there's probably a limit on how much, or, or sorry, how many devices can actually connect to that device at any one time. So if your iPad keeps dropping out, it's probably because of the fact that there's too many things trying to access your personal Wi-Fi. And all you need to do is go to the shops and buy a new one um, and make sure you tell the people there this is the reason why you've come in.